What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mod Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Since the last episode, I have actually done a little bit of syrup production. Not all that much, but now we're sitting at $5,700. And so, since today is Friday, I actually want to head into town so we can go visit the mysterious Van Man. He's not actually all that mysterious. I just can't ever remember dude's name really quick though just before we head out i got a couple more of these rust removal things and i'm really really curious to see just what these wheels on the uh, pick em up truck actually look like so we're gonna do this for the very first time not bad wait did that say that they were a little bit uh, a little bit shiny did they have a little bit of clear on them hang on let's let's do the the front one. Oh no never mind it doesn't have any gloss to it whatsoever Maybe it does now that we've removed the rust, I suppose. I'm going to grab this can of clear, and we'll see if we can glisten these bad boys up. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, now the uh, gloss value is 255, which I believe is max. It doesn't really look all that different, I guess. But um, now that this can's empty, we're going to do the rest of the rust removal on the other side. And then we'll gloss those as well. And now the real question becomes, you guys, do we paint these or do we just leave them their sort of factory color or their original color? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really torn. I, I don't mind their current color, but I'm curious to see if we finally get some metallic paint. I know we got some in the previous episode. I have no idea where it went. And uh, I guess Gila isn't going to be very helpful in regards to spray paint. So... I'm not really sure, dude. I'm, I'm really torn. I think black would look really nice. But again, I, I just kind of like the default. Oh, here we have the bus coming down. What's going on? We've still never ridden the bus. I guess it just takes us into town. So we're probably... Oh, and he stops if we're actually waiting out here. He's got some music playing. We'll experiment with this another day. You can you can keep on going. You can keep on going. I just okay, think of it this way. Oh, it looks like we can call him as well. There's a number on the side. But think of it this way. Him driving that speed, obviously very slow. I think we can probably make it into town a little bit faster than the bus could. So do we need our gas can? I don't remember what I've done off camera, of course. And we'll toss this in the E36 so we can bring it into town. If I had a tip for anyone just starting out in Monbazoo, it would be always, always, always bring the jerry can or the gas can into town with you. Not if it's full, I guess. That would be the only exception. Otherwise, always take it. Oh, dude, I actually just reminded myself that um, if I grab my controller here, I got this set up, the controller set up now, so I can actually activate the clutch. The clutch pedal by default, I don't think has a proper like button mapping or key bind. So um, I, I have been using the keyboard and mouse for quite a while and I just changed all the controls to better match like other driving games I've played like Forza or, or Gran Turismo, you know, stuff like that. So now we can actually activate the clutch. This is pretty sick. I have not tested this yet. I, I just changed the button mapping, so we'll see. At least now I can I can hold the clutch in and then drop it as we're, you know, hitting red line. So hopefully that'll help us out in our races and stuff. But this feels tremendously better already. So like the, the shifting button mapping has been changed. Upshift is now B on my controller. Uh, downshift is now X. I can just hold A to activate the E-brake now, which is very, very handy. No pun intended. But um, let's continue on our way, and we'll, we'll uh, go visit the mysterious van man. I don't know if my memory is just failing me or if it actually sounded like this the whole time, but now that we've changed the button mapping, dude, listen to when I shift. There's a very, very prominent backfire. Just a, 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 a subtle one, I guess. Not, not super prominent, but it's there. It's definitely there, and now we can just whip around super easy. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, let's visit our friend here at uh, at his van. All right, Roger, right? That is your name. What is going on, my man? You have some more metallic spray paint for us. So I'm going to make sure we grab one of those. Again, no idea what happened to our last can that we purchased, and uh, I did talk to Gila right over there, and he was no help, so... 
I guess we're just going to have to suck it up and buy another here from Raj. And then these black bolts, that would actually be really useful for the central sort of locking bolt for our steering wheel. I think that could dress it up a little bit. The one that we have right now is a little rusty, a little gross. And then I would like probably black bolts as well for the wheels. But these are kind of rusty and nasty looking also. I'm not sure if a rust repair kit would help us out there. That would obviously be more expensive too than just purchasing these. So we'll go ahead and grab those from him. Make sure they actually get deposited in there perfect what else do we need i i want to do the turbo kit you guys i really do but obviously we don't have enough money for that right now and i really want to see just what the um, performance exhaust manifold and the itbs are going to perform like so i'm going to grab the itbs that's going to essentially replace our existing intake system so we're not even going to have a filter or anything it's just going to be the uh individual throttle bodies that's what that is and then the ECU, of course. We've opened the glove box once before, but we do have a rusty, crusty ECU just chin chilling in there. So we're actually going to be taking that one out and replacing it with a... I don't know if it's programmable or if it has like a, a preset sort of tune on it. There's nowhere we can go currently to tune the vehicle. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work. And then I was going to buy the LSD, not the drug, the differential. And I, I think I've actually changed my mind because I just remembered the other day that there's a welded diff out uh, out in the boonies somewhere. So I think we're going to go find that here a little while later on as well. Is there anything else at all here that we need? Some wheel spacers could be cool, I guess, if we wanted to, you know, get a little bit of poke out of these things. But I, I feel like the factory fitment is actually super, super good. Like if we could do over fenders... Maybe I, I could see a, an actual need to use the spacers, but as of right now, I, uh, I think we're big chilling. Do we need any gauges or any, hey, that's me, or any shift knobs? I think we're good. I think we're good. The seat, though, dude. Yep. Yep, we gotta, we gotta grab a new seat. Absolutely. Oh, and we can just install that? I could use... No, I, don't, I can't use the bolts because I don't have a spanner. Does he sell one? negative all right well roger i appreciate it brother i think we've got all we need from you for today so we're gonna make our way over to uh jacques gas station so we can say what's up to norman and also Jacques, but mainly norman all righty we've got the jerry can refilled we've also got the e36 refilled as well wasn't too expensive thankfully and then i think i'm just gonna go ahead and grab okay. a um Yes, a maple French Canadian approval. Thank you so much. A maple syrup. You guys did inform me. A lot of you actually informed me. There is, in fact, an Easter egg contained within his refrigerator. And then somebody went on to spoil every single Easter egg location. You guys, I, I couldn't look away. I couldn't look away. So, yes, I do know where they all are. Will I ever include it in a video? I'm not really sure. I feel like a lot of the fun's kind of taken out. I guess I, I still don't know what we get from collecting all of them. So maybe there's maybe there's hope yet. But what did we come in here for? My God. Um, first, hey, we're going to yeah, talk to Jacques. Beau, well, anyways, thanks for stopping. Yes, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, Norman, I knew I recognized you. Yeah, you see us every day. How we, how we looking? How's our friendship coming along? We're getting there. We're getting there, dude, slowly but surely. And we'll be on our way, dude. We've got a couple of things to install, but uh, just before we go home, I'm actually going to make a little detour, like I said, about that um, welded differential. We definitely, definitely need one of those. I just think that maybe around the corners, especially when we're, like, hard on the gas, I think it will hopefully help us corner a little bit better, because right now our, uh, our rear wheels can essentially spin individually, so the, the differential's not locking whatsoever. So if we can get them both to rotate at the exact same time, exact same speed, I think it's gonna do good things for us. I don't know, we'll see. Dude, we have got this thing absolutely loaded up with weight and it, it really does feel quite a bit heavier. I need to just kind of chillax through this section. It is very, very bumpy. And then where actually, let me, let me pull out the map. I'm not quite sure I remember where this place is. Oh, it's it's right on our right. Okay, 
Perfect. Let's just skirt on over there. Barely moving, dude. The sand. The sand is not a, uh, a good thing. So somewhere in here, I don't know if I need to be, like, parking and, and out walking around looking for this thing. But somewhere around here, there's apparently a welded differential. Alright, so if I were a differential, where would I be? Also, why would I be left at the beach? That just doesn't really seem like the place that you would leave a car park. Especially a, a decent one, like a welded diff. I don't even know what I'm looking for, you guys. I mean, I know what a differential looks like, because, you know, obviously we've seen the, the existing differential that's in the car at the moment. But I don't know what color this thing's gonna be. It could be metal, it could be black, it could be bright red. Who knows? I have walked nearly all over this beach, dude. You can see the E36 clear off in the distance. I really can't find this thing. I might, I might have to just peep the wiki real quick and figure out where it actually is, because it is getting very late, and uh, and I want to try to get all this stuff installed so we can actually do a race, if not today, tomorrow. Okay, so this is mildly embarrassing. Actually, not really, because I, I wasn't really sure where we're supposed to look anyways, but I wasn't really understanding what the map was telling us. So we're in the complete wrong area, but it's all good, you guys. We're fairly close. I will admit we are fairly close. We just gotta go out the beach area where we came in at and kind of continue up that little road, just a, just a little ways. We just need to head up this way. I don't even care if we're on the road at this point, but right up here on the right, I believe, should be just around this sort of hill here. Is this the spot? Uh-oh. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the spot, dude. You can see like the sand trails here. So this is an area where we want to bring the buggy once we have the buggy completed. I can like barely even make it up this hill. But it's going to be around here. Ooh, hang on, there's a dumpster. There is a dumpster. Got a good feeling about the dumpster. I've only read the location. The wiki says it's in what they call the sand pit, which is this area. So I, I don't know where it is specifically, but I'm going to best guess probably the dumpster, right? We'll go ahead and cut the ignition and hop out here. Let's see what we got. There she is. So it's both metal and black, which is, I mean, two of the colors I was guessing it was. So that's got to count for something. But we are finally ready to go back home and get all of this stuff installed. So I will see you guys once we get back. Well, all that off-roading in the E36 sure makes a guy anxious, you guys. That thing was just peaking as we're trying to drive out of there, but we are officially back home. So we're gonna hit the lights and let's get after it. Actually, let's have a doink first. Got it. you gotta have a doink, right? Yesterday was 420, it's about time. Gotta celebrate, even in Monbazoo. Alrighty, now that we've got our anxiety in check, I'm gonna grab these bolts. We're just gonna kinda get everything unloaded. It's like we just went to the grocery store here, but with car parts. Much better, actually. I, uh, I definitely prefer this. Oh, yeah, the seat wasn't bolted in. Okay, so that is going to replace our current driver's seat. And then I don't think we're going to put anything in the passenger side because the OEM seats weigh like a metric butt ton. 30, 35 pounds, that thing just said. Hang on, we'll see if we can get it to pop up again. I don't know if that's pounds, I guess. I'm going to say pounds, but yeah, 35 pounds. Ridiculously heavy. So now I'm kind of curious... How much does the sports seat weigh? Oh, measly 20 pounds is all? That's great. And then the welded diff, it doesn't really matter how much that weighs, 65 pounds. I'm curious to see what the original one is gonna weigh as well. And then the ITBs, 12 pounds. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and we'll take off that intake manifold. I wanna see how much the original intake is, uh, is weighing us down as well. So we're going to grab the impact gun, come over here. We've done this once before, so, you know, we're basically professional at this point. We have a central bolt as well that's super tricky to get. Here we go. That's the angle we needed. And then we have another one just here. And the last one is going to be on the air filter box. There we be. Get her unbolted. And we'll see, dude. From 16 to 12, right? That's pretty good. Pretty solid. We'll throw that over with all the other junk parts. And I actually didn't realize this, but the ABS module that we replaced 
before was actually broken. At least that's what this says. So it's a good thing we did that. But now for these ITBs, dude. I'm real, real excited for this. So again, just the three bolts. I am going to continue to use the rusty ones. And I think I'm going to reserve these maybe for the wheels. I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to go and, and buy more of them. Because that's not near enough for all four wheels. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's get this thing buttoned back up. And uh, I want to I wanna fire it up, too, after we just do the ITBs to hear what it sounds like. And then we'll do that once more um, as soon as we get the ECU installed. Oh, and actually, we get to keep a bolt here. Because there's no reason for us to put that bolt back, right? We have no uh, actual air filter box. And just before we start her up, I cannot find the black bolts that we bought. They are just gone. Just completely missing now they're not in the glove box i just checked they're also not in the trunk so again just from driving back home we've managed to lose another item the last time it was our metallic spray paint this time it was our nice uh big bolts that we were going to use for the steering wheel so let's just go ahead and start her up dude i'm eager let's see what she sounds like now it does kind of seem a little bit louder let's rotate around to the front Maybe not louder, but it's definitely it's definitely redlining way sooner, which could be good, I suppose. Go ahead and kill the ignition, and uh, let's get that ECU installed, because I still have no idea how that's actually going to help us out. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. I thought it was just about to let me untighten that with my bare hands, and I was like, wait a minute, we could do that the whole time? Let's go ahead and take that bolt out, and uh, we'll put the gun back. Dismount the original ECU. It's also paint matched, which is kind of interesting. At least it looks paint matched. Maybe not. Maybe maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. So we have... Oh, there's a tune button. There's a tune button on the tunable ECU. Go figure. So we can actually change the power curve. That's pretty dope. As well as adjust the wastegate for the turb ski. We can also adjust the intensity for the ABS, which I've never heard of that, but that's cool. And then we can disable traction control. We definitely, definitely want that. If we're going to, you know, maybe drift this thing someday, time will tell. We'll grab the impact once again and get this bolt thrown back in. I'm going to leave it at stock 10 pounds of boost. That's not really stock, but that's what the ECU's programmed to. See if she sounds any different now. Little bit. A little bit. Dude, this thing sounds insane. I also just kind of thought about what I said previously about leaving the ECU at 10 pounds of boost. Where's the turbo, 2G? Where is the turbo? There isn't one. So we're going to actually have to leave the ECU almost unprogrammed for the moment. We're going to just dip that down all the way to one not that it's going to make any difference because again we don't have a turbo we will leave traction control off but uh now let's go ahead and kill the ignition once again and uh, we're going to take out this other seat here so this seat there are actually four bolts for some reason the other one on the passenger side there were only two but we're going to take this out and this out we can go ahead and move the seat back and hopefully we're going to be able to get these other bolts out without completely moving the seat back. Nope. It's not going to happen. All right. Let's go ahead and just move it back quick. Got to run all the way back over here. Grab the impact again. And then we just have the one bolt left. There we be. Let's get the seat removed now. We might have to slide it up a little bit and maybe push it forward. That's what we did with the other one anyways. There we be. And now what would be really cool is if we could actually paint the seat we can. Dude, we could do whatever color we wanted, actually. But I'm going to do black. I think that's going to look the best. And then let's gloss it up. Right? Let's gloss it up. We'll see if this changes the look of it whatsoever. A little bit kind of seems... Oh, actually, a lot of it seems very, very shiny now. Maybe that wasn't the greatest move on my part, but it's all right. We still do have the metallic paint as well. We haven't used that for anything just yet. That might be something I want to, like, maybe save the game and then come back in and try to paint something just in case I don't like the way it looks. 
you know, I don't want to waste our only can of that so far. But this thing's looking awesome, dude. Let's get this seat thrown in. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to make the races tonight because we do still have to put in the welded diff. So it's all good. We can just try again tomorrow. Not the end of the world. Now that we've got all the bolts put in the seats, we can uh, start to get our seat set back up to sort of how it was. Back one more click. That seems seems actually a little bit too close. Maybe that. All right. And then, oh, there's a height adjustment as well. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to be dirt nasty low. That's nice. That is real Real nice. Okay, I've got to actually pay attention to our uh, our person's stats here because they're getting they're getting pretty bad. They are definitely getting pretty bad. We have poutine. We don't have any. We do have maple syrup. When did I stock up again on maple syrup? Must have been something I did off camera, you guys. I I really don't remember doing that, but it's all good. All right, and then let's head to bed too. I I don't want to pass out in the garage. That wouldn't be fun. We're gonna top up the generator this morning. There we be. Good to go. All right. Now, all we have left out here is gonna be the welded diff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close up everything that we really no longer need access to. Nothing in the engine bay, anything like that. And then I'm not gonna put the entire car up in the air. I'm only gonna do, for obvious reasons, the rear of the vehicle. Because that is, after all, where the diff is located. Now we can get our creeper and creep on over there. Let's grab our impact, hop back on the creeper, and we'll see what all we actually have to unbolt. So it looks like it has sort of a subframe, but I think these bolts go to just the rear sway bar there, so I don't think we need to disconnect that. Then we have like this rear uh, trailing arm. I don't think we need to disconnect that either. We do have the diff connecting to the drive shaft here, so those bolts definitely have to be removed just four of those and the last one perfect all right and then this bolt here that's actually mounting the diff to that subframe and then oh i was like i didn't hit escape why did that come up my controller just uh just died so that's all that was but we're gonna take that one out and the last one here i believe should be that guy let's uh see if we can unbolt this thing or unmount it there we be dude we are officially getting rid of the uh, open diff. It's just the uh, the factory open diff. And now we're going to grab the welded diff. And we'll see if it bolts up perfectly like a glove. All right, now we got to come all the way back over here, grab the impact again, and lay back down on the creeper and uh, zip up all these bolts that we took out. We'll be ready to rock, dude. We'll see how she performs after this. Let's just take a quick moment to acknowledge all of these parts over here and why they're here. Everything over in this corner of the garage has been removed from the E36 and then replaced with a, we'll say, better version of it. So now it's time to see if this thing performs any differently, especially like around the corners. I am expecting it to handle quite a bit better, so. We gon' we gon' find out, dude. We'll push in the clutch, upshift to first, and let her eat. We are big out of here. Oh, actually, it does feel surprisingly more responsive around the corners. Like I can actually sort of control the drift a little bit better. This is, dude. This is good. It's not like crazy, but it's good. It's it's definitely better than it was. That's for sure. All right. Well, we're going to save the rest of our testing for the races. So I'm just going to back her back up into the garage here for the time being. And uh, we'll just have to kind of sit on our hands for a few minutes and uh, wait until we can actually go racing. It is race day, ladies and gentlemen. Or I guess race night, technically. I'm going to grab a pack of doobage. And uh, actually, I think we have two more of those in our truck. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna grab all three of these, make sure we take them with us into town. It kind of seems like the street racer dude bro bras are probably the only people that will buy all 10 of the doobages off us at, uh, at one time. So with those loaded up, 
we can officially make our way back into town and uh, we'll head on over to the races. First though, we gotta get into race mode. There we go. We are just about right on time, actually. Only a few minutes late, not too bad, not too bad. We're gonna pull up just in front of the Evo over here and uh, we'll just kind of park up for a minute. I wanna see if any of these dudes will buy some of our doobage off of us. It would be super, super helpful. We'll see two big, small packs, okay. You guys? Hey, Tom's on board. Good deal, dude, 500 bucks, easy as that. And then we have three more dudes over here. This guy's in his car. Uh, I can't buy this, okay. You, no? All right, well, we sold one of the three, so I guess that's better than nothing. Hopefully this doesn't add too much weight to our vehicle. I highly doubt it, but let's go talk to Anthony yet again. So we've successfully beat now um, Michael in his Sunfire, the 180 slash the 240. And then today, or I guess tonight, we might try the Evo. Maybe, I feel like that's probably a bad idea. Let's see actually where, uh, where we're going. Race to the farm. Where the heck is the farm at? I actually have no idea where it is. Oh. Status completed, claim reward. What the heck? What the heck? This is some like Bazazaku type, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, type exhaust? I guess we'll just leave that in there. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't know where the farm is, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that race, but I definitely, definitely, oh my God, $4,400 too. Oh, it's Sunday, that's why. All right, I'm uh, kind of lollygagging here. We're, we're wasting a bit too much time, so let's get our camera centered, ready to go. And we out, dude. Well, kind of. Hopefully the clutch helps, though. Up against the 180 slash the 240 yet again. And drop clutch. Upshift to second. Might have been a little too early. Probably should have let it spin for a, for a hot minute there. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. This turn comes up quick. We're right, we're right in front of him, dude. He can't get around us. That was kind of, that was kind of a, a dick move there, but it's all right. Rev it out all the way to eight grand across the line. 27.8, our new best time. All right, let's, let's turn around. We'll see if we have enough time to uh, race the other vehicle. Skirt, there we go, there we go. I highly doubt it though. We desperately need more maple syrup and they're only gonna be here for about an hour. So we're gonna put a thousand buckaroonies on the line and we'll see what happens here. Again, no idea where the farm is. I'm just kind of assuming it's gonna be roughly the same path that we've been taking with the 180. But we'll get her turned around here. We have like 30 seconds to do this race, you guys. Okay, first gear, and drop the clutch. I'm gonna let her rev out a little bit longer. This time, we're going this way. What? Oh no, oh no, she's squirrely. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. We can just kind of follow this cat. What are you doing, dog? Oh God, this is not good. This is actually not good. How is he turning the corners so well? Maybe I need to start using my e-brake. We're gonna die. Oh my god. I didn't know the line was right there. That was a hor- Oh, and we've re-rented him now. Sorry, bud. All right, he's out of here, though. And we're gonna be out of here, too, if we don't get back home. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is probably where we're gonna have to wind down this episode at for today. But as always, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Peace.